computers. In the beginning, they were seriously big, seriously expensive, and seriously serious. That was until the year 1961. The PDP-1, made by the Digital Equipment Corporation, DEC. This gigantic machine lacked the kind of applications that sell one-ton mini computers and bring in serious money. The fledgling company turned to scholars at MIT, hoping the young programmers would soon have it humming with Brainiac applications. Irresistibly drawn to the PDP-1 from their lair in the Tech Model Railroad Club, MIT hackers studied the machine's assets. A large display, console typewriter, paper tape reader, and nine whole kilobytes of computing power. Now, how to use it? For hacker slug Russell, inspiration came from Japanese Toho science fiction films, Disney's Man in Space series, and the smooth prose of E.E. E. Smith's Lensman novels. I started talking up the idea of having a spaceship trainer. Spaceships were very much in the news. It was abundantly clear that people didn't know how to fly spaceships very well. And eventually, the uh, critical chorus at the Model Railroad Club and elsewhere said, that's a great idea. Why don't you do it? After talking it up for eight weeks or so, I finally got shamed into writing code. And in the fall of 1961, I had a demonstration program that had two spaceships which could maneuver around the screen and could fire torpedoes at each other. An intergalactic dogfight, and they would call it Space War. Space War. Space, War. Space War pushed the limits of the PDP-1's graphics and real-time capability. Then Edwards rewrote the display so we could have gravity affect the spaceships. And Pete Sampson added stars. I took a star table down to magnitude four and a half and took a slice of the sky around the celestial equator and uh, had it scroll by. We now have real stars. In May 1962, Space War made its debut at MIT's Science Open House and DEX User Society. Huge crowds lined up to play. But was Space War the PDP-1 demo that DEC hoped for? Absolutely. Space War quickly gained a cult following on college campuses, and just about anywhere there was a PDP-1. Considering how few PDP-1s were sold, perhaps 50 of them made, the number of people who saw Space War was high because so many of them went to universities. In 1972, Rolling Stone called Space War a flawless crystal ball of things to come in computer science and announced, ready or not, computers are coming to the people. One point I happened to make to Stuart Brand was this was a great collaboration. Not just a good game and an excellent piece of programming art. Space War encouraged interaction between human and machine. It got people excited about the field of computer programming and it introduced the world to the multi-billion dollar industry of computer gaming. It certainly established that you could play games with computers and people have been doing it ever since.